Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make lemon posset and shortbread with three ingredients each. You'll need caster sugar, plain flour, soft butter and vanilla paste which is optional. First you're going to add 140 grams of soft butter to a bowl. If it's not soft enough, just use a spoon to mix it about. Next you're going to add 150 grams of caster sugar and mix it till it's evenly combined. Next you're going to add half a teaspoon of vanilla paste and this is completely optional. Make sure the vanilla paste is evenly combined throughout the mixture. Next, sieve in 250 grams of plain flour. Sieving it in small quantities will help get rid of any lumps in the flour or if there's any impurities in it. Just make sure the flour is evenly mixed because you don't want any lumps in between that. It just doesn't taste right. Once it's evenly mixed, turn the bowl over on your work surface and combine it with your hands. Bring it together like a dough. Make sure not to overwork the dough or your biscuits won't be crumbly. It'll just turn out really hard. Next, roll out a clean film and use half the dough mixture to make a sausage shape and tightly roll it around the clean film. Make sure there are no cracks in the pastry mix and you can do that by pressing it on the sides. Roll it tightly like a candy from both the ends and make sure there are no, no cracks or gaps in the pastry. I'm just going to use one of them this time and one is going to go into the freezer. You need to put it in the fridge for around an hour for the butter to set. While the shortbread's in the freezer, we'll be making the lemon posset. So get your ingredients together, the caster sugar, the double cream and the lemons. In a pot, medium heat, add 400 double cream. Next you'll add 90 grams of caster sugar, zest to lemons and simmer for 5 minutes until the sugar is dissolved. Turn the heat off and add the juice of 1.5 lemons. Make sure to mix it evenly. Use a sieve and pour it into a glass. But if you're as messy as me, pour it into a jug first and then pour it into a glass. Put it in the fridge to set for at least an hour or so. Next, get your shortbread Cut it at both ends, unwrap it and slice it into equal pieces and put it on a tray. Make sure to leave a little bit of distance between the shortbreads. Prick it with the fork to give it the shortbread look. Next, it's going to go straight in the oven for about 8 to 10 minutes to cook. Don't worry if it's a little bit soft to touch, it will harden up once it cools down. Once out of the oven, evenly dust it with caster sugar and you're ready to enjoy it with your posset. If you have enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications. And I'll see you in our next video.